Before we begin, one final ode to the old convo. Okay, enough of that. Moving on to 2020 JMU basketball. What's this? Lancaster Bible College has dropped out of the season opener for the men. Whatever shall we do? Luckily, the good folks at Limestone University have stepped in to save the day. There will be basketball this Thanksgiving Eve. The Dukes are in fact so grateful to Limestone that they hand them a 34-point loss to go with their stuffing and turkey. Freshman forward Justin Amati dominated in his JMU debut with 16 points and the ever-reliable Matt Lewis scored 13. This was the first time the men had six scorers in double digits since a 2001 win over William & Mary. You can't start a new season any better, the men are 1-0, and win their opener 89-55. The women come out onto the floor of the bank just as strong, hanging 69 points on Mount St. Mary's in a 14-point victory. Great performances from sophomore forward Rain Tucker did her name justice. She rained down 16 points on the mounts, while freshman guard Jemiah Hazel scored 18. The two women's combined point totals made up roughly half of the Dukes' buckets. Yes, Dukes fans, the women played their hearts out on their way to a 69-55 victory. Opening day is a success. Nothing but victories in the new Atlantic Union Bank Center. Who, ya? Yeah. Following a Friday loss to the Norfolk State Spartans, the Dukes returned to their winning ways Sunday as the men hosted the Radford Highlanders. Enter Vado Morse, whose 26 points led the team in offense. Head coach Mark Byington also added to his winning history against Radford as well. He's now 3-1 in his career against the Highlanders, and the Dukes are 2-1 on their early season. They win this one 67-59, and their next two games will prove to be great tests. They face off against the Maryland Terrapins on Saturday and rival Old Dominion on Monday. Good luck, boys. We'll be watching. Like the men, the women saw a game on their schedule get canceled as well. Luckily, the University of Buffalo stepped in after Marquette University stepped out, but the Dukes were gored by the Bulls' shooting onslaught. Buffalo wasn't on fire in the first half, dear viewers. They were scorching sinking nearly half of their shots in the first half and going 22 for 45 on the floor. In just the first 20 minutes, Kiki Jefferson had 16 points on the day and the Dukes had a strong third quarter, but ultimately couldn't catch up from the Bulls' early success. The women lost their first game of the year 64 to 80, but their weekend features a great contest at home against the George Mason Patriots. Godspeed, girls, and good luck.